Hello everyone, Smart Flop Shepherd once again, and welcome back to the Level of the Year 2017 NXP collection. In the previous video, I did some mixed author levels, and I got to this level, but I was unable to load it. Thank you, Nessie, for sending me over the right file set for this, and now I can continue. So this one's got me. Sash Flopsy versus the evil Lord Nimida. Yeah, because apparently he's evil. So, 50 lemmings, 50 to be saved, 99 release rate, and giggle them, ha ha ha, you made a hard for Flopsy level. You're very funny. Hope this music's not too loud. What are they supposed to be? I'm just going to do a bit of experimentation. Yeah, as expected, that's an old draft. I think it's pretty obvious that we had a platform across here. Pretty much a must. Okay. And it has to be one of the last levels that does it. Are these things, these are teleporters. Okay, okay, that's a, that's a receiver, so Lemon won't be coming back through that. problem with this level or something. That's that's not even that's not even a working object. That's a trap. I don't think this level's even doable. Because I think it's pretty obvious the lemmings have to come through this teleporter here and come out that end. I don't understand why there's two teleporters mapping onto the same receiver. Well, I could try and solve it as far as that point, but I'm assuming that we're just going to use a builder here, a basher, to get to the exit. But other than that, I can't really solve the level. Skills on this level, do I? No steel either, for the trick. This level is horrible in a way of skills. Pretty obvious the digger has to be used there, so what the hell are you supposed to do then? 
We're not allowed to let lemmings drop here or something. Sorry if you can hear a weed whacker outside, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this level because it's always already apparent that it's impossible because the teleports aren't mapping correctly. Sorry, me. Uh, sorry, uh, Giggle M. This level I liked though. For fuck's sake, will that noise shut the fuck up. This looks to be sim this looks like it's simpler than I remember it. Oh, maybe not. Still simple though, I think. That has to be a back route, because we had 17 miners, only did it in 5. Oh, we've, com we've completely forgotten a trap door down here, I forgot. Fuck. Hmm, okay. A little bit more thinking required then. We will need a second lemming.
Okay, I think I see it. I think we should do it. Hopefully. Still only 10 miners. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. You've got to be having a laugh, man. Let's have a look through the fucking around the fucking level and see if there's any more lemmings that we've fucking neglected. No. Okay. Well, the whole solution could just carry on as normal, but we can just uh, make an adjustment, make an adjustment, and use the last lemming. Got seven. We've got seven miners left anyway. to mine into the steel. Didn't really matter, it's the, not the last lemming. Okay, that should be everybody now. Absolutely everybody. There we go, finally solved it. Okay then, so who's next? Oh, we've got a level by Mobius. And I've played this level already. I wonder if I can find another back route to it. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, Mobius. I'll try and play this god-honest way. He's finally fixed this level by the looks of it. in the builder perhaps send another climb over.
Oh, piss off, man. That's just so pedantic. It's going to need to be a floater as well. Oh, crud. It's not such a good idea to free these guys so early on. Yeah, I think that's that was solved. This is the solution. This is actually this is actually a really good solution to be fair. I can see why Mobius wanted to enforce it. Only had a block and a floater left and a bomb that can't be used because of the save requirement. Okay, so we're on to the last level of the LP now, um, and then I'll be going through the last of my uh, my levels. <laughs> so, Nepster, greetings from the Mad Architect. I have no luck solving this one, and I don't suspect I don't expect this is going to be any different. What I'm going to say next is you are a mad architect. Oh. Yep, yeah, true next to style as well. Can't be bothered to come up with any music. <laughs> This level looks horrible. Thank you. 
Oops. These guys are trying. I don't know why I'm really trying with this guy, to be fair. Oh, that is so cruel how you can't. How, can you, how the hell can you not build over that trap? Oh, he's put fucking steel girders in front of it. Ugh. It's horrible, man. It's so horrible. No building over the trap allowed, it seems. This is why I struggle with this is why I'd struggle with Nepsta limbs, everybody. I just can't comprehend levels like this. It's nothing against Nepsta or anything, it's just not, not my style of a level. Some nice little trick going on here. Okay, 
Okay, where was the last lemming? So whoever the last lemming was needs to dig the dig the block of free. Yeah, the problem is we've got bloody look, we've got two lemmings walking to the right now. Delete the builder. We need to do build two steps, then we're up. enough to get them through the airlock. <sighs> this guy's gonna this guy's gonna be a problem now because He's just gonna he's just gonna dig the entire hole and there's gonna be a little gap little pixel gap here that he's gonna wriggle through. I can't even do that either. So annoying because he could have climbed up that. Maybe we need multiple diggers for this. Nah, this is just overcomplicating it. I can't make the solution work, so I'm just going to give up on it. The idea was I was going to uh, get the crowd down to the bottom here and uh, try and get across this gap here. I obviously have to use a digger on this column here and platform across. But doing all this in one minute is just stupid anyway, so I don't think it's going to work in the end anyway. I'll probably just end up running out of time. My idea was I was trying to get two lemmings through the airlock, so and that's where our lost lemming would be. I have a feeling I'm on the right lines, it's just getting I just can't get it to work. Because the guy who digs the blocker for it, he just goes falling to the crashing to the ground with a big splat. So I'm gonna give up on this now. It's the end of me playing levels now, and I'm just going to show off the last of my levels. I really wish that noise would shut up. How long can you be weed whacking for? Okay, so this is level 12. This is a uh, rapture. This is a mid rapture level in Seblems, and it's uh, probably one of my favourite scrap brain levels of all time. And this one's a uh, supersonic. It's actually named after a Sophie song, but ironically, it also fits the theme. Because it's supersonic, get it? There's actually a song called Supersonic. Um, which I assume is uh, re referring to the sound wave of it. <laughs> supersonic waves. Okay, so we've got 40 lemmings and 39 to be saved. This one is quite a hard level. A lot of people struggle with this one. So 
So let me find the official solution. First job obviously is to make the climate fine for else. Build out this uh, gap here. And then we dig just next to the fire here. Now you don't need you don't really need to have this pixel gap here because I've had discovered that you don't, whether that's there or not, still solve the level. So that's not precise. It's just my official solution. I did label this as a trap as well because a lot of people would not see the trap otherwise. I had to put steel in front of it to stop people doing stupid things with builders to get over it. So I clone and do use the walker on this just to get a lemming through. Bit of a lame way to use a clone right now, but. So we clone a builder here as well, so they're going alternate walls. And I've made this so she can't get a lemon down with the area. That's down to the flat that before. So that's to press the button up there, obviously. This lemon's going to come up here and dig. And you can dig all the way down to the bottom of this column, and this is where. How you can get up, how you can zigzag up the section. Building there to uh, get the crowd, uh, catch the crowd when it comes through. And then we build into this wall here. As you can see, there's a one way wall at the end of it, so you can uh, build find the around it. Hitting the steel is not necessary. Then we mine into this. I cut down on these trap triggers recently because these trap triggers are actually getting quite far up into the wall. So the idea is you're supposed to bounce off the one way wall with the miner, and uh, the lemons are safe. And then that's what the only battery in the level is used for to get to this switch here. And uh, you missed it over here, but this guy dug down to the bottom and then he what, climbed up here and he bombed under this trap here. So there's going to be quite a lot of bombing on this section. It's because you need one builder and one bomber on each section. And you build, climb the wall, climb for the exit and mine. And that's it, level solved. So it was me that nominated this level, nobody else nominated it, but it's, I'm just showing you why I think it's a brilliant level. <laughs> so, level 13, the Jagged Staircase. Probably one of the favourite levels in Rapture for most people, actually, who played it. Uh, I'll tell you about history, history about this level. This is actually half of a Mega Drive 2 player level. But I think the exit's I think I put the exit in a different place, but I think the trap door is in the same place it would be. Uh, I was worried there. There was no gap in the terrain there. Yeah, so <sighs> jagged staircase because you know it looks like a staircase, and I put DMA in it because you know obviously they're responsible for the original level layout, so gave them a bit of credit. Um yeah, but this is actually a very good solution, and I think a lot. I think it got nominated for the reason, reason for that reason. And these steel blocks from the uh, Sonic tile set, Sandopolis, I think, um, were added in to stop back. And it just feels like a cozy bit of steel. So let's get the solution, the jacket stuff. idea is I think I think the 99 release rate does help as well you might find solutions where you don't use the 99 release rate that's fine but the key is here is you use a stacker because the gap is thin enough to get over with the climber you use stackers to get over the exit as well so you, you use two stackers to get over the exit 
it is a bit corny, yeah, using stacker again to get up there. But yeah, that's a good way. It's a good way. It's a good way to save on the building to quite a level. That's the good necessary twice. I don't know why I use that digger there actually. That digger may or not may not. Yeah, I know why that digger's there. It's to make sure that the the lemming lands at that specific location, otherwise you'll land down here and then it's no good. If you actually need to make it so the lemmings can get off the top. And then we get lemming bashing through. Now these lemmings are perfectly timed to work with one another. He's going to block the lemming so he turns around. And you're thinking that this is a 100% level. So we need to save all the lemmings. What? Well, how? What's that lemming going to do at the end? You'll see. When the last lemming comes through on the crowd, because obviously they're trapped up here after this because this builder, he bashes him free. Digger just to delay him while he patches this gap up here. And there we go. They're safe down there now. This is this is probably where the brilliant part comes in. It's very hard to spot this part of the solution. You can actually use a digger here. And all the lemmings can just climb up the wall then. And that's the brilliant part of the solution. So there you go. That one got voted voted by someone. I don't know who it was. But uh, thank you very much for nominating it. Got nominated for all the right reasons. Well, that's all I can say. Okay, level 14. What a bonnie wee level. Uh, this one is quite famous for being my hard for flopsy level that I submitted to the hard for flopsy level contest. So, yeah, again, for those who don't know what a hard for flopsy level is, I'll explain it again for the benefit of you lot. It has to be 100% save requirement, it has to have a 99 release rate, and it has to have a time limit, and it has to have the lemmings heading for danger. As you can see, they were starting at the top there on that grey bit and they're gonna go splat if they don't if you don't do something about it. So for the first time ever I'm gonna show off my solution of this level. And why there are insane amount of bashes on this level. A lot of people might have found ways to uh, crowd control better. So chop it down a bit, there's a digger right at the start there and then a minor. Just so one lemon gets through. And then we're using a digger to cut off the miner. Quite hard to see what's going on there. In fact, I'll try and zoom it in actually. I think what's happening is there's a digger and then it's immediately bashing. So we're getting the bashes to connect with each other here. And I think there was a basher used up here as well to climb up the terrain. So we'll zoom it back in. Too far. So we bash into this. This guy has to glide down to the bottom. He has to, to dodge the ice, the icy freezy traps. And he bashes into the steel here, and then at that point, at the point the steel gets chinked, you let another climber loose. And then make them both swimmers as well, because they need to swim across this little pool here. And for those who are not unfamiliar with the drink Iron Brew, that's that's just product placement in this level for no reason whatsoever. It is it is Scottish though, so bar is a Scottish brand. You can see the bar logo in the middle there. So yeah, walk her towards the exit and have them both mine and meet each, meet each other. But this guy is slightly ahead and carry on mining. 
and then he builds to the exit and this guy then builds and then you just bash the lemmings free and this guy should make it to the exit just in time He makes it with plenty of time to spare. So the time is not that strict, but I mean it's strict enough so actually you can't lollygag. Because the time it still does catch people out. So next level is oh this one's this one was very famous in Artie's LP of Seblems. Everybody loves this level. Gravity coaster. I'm going to show you my solution of this level, which I think is similar, similar to Artie's version. A slight change the music to this level as well. It's using it's using a, a version of Death Egg music, which actually uses both Act One and Act Two music. So just to keep you up to speed, these stackers are placed. To Specifically to turn lemmings round. So those unfamiliar with this level, this is actually a, a big, a, a huge level where you're just going to get the lemmings down the level in the safest way possible. You've got two trap doors. This was originally a murder level, but due to our uproar from the lemmings community in general, put it up to the put it up to the rack to run. I honestly didn't think this level would be that difficult for people, but I obviously, I obviously underestimated this level. Makes a brilliant use of the Starlight tile set though, because it's just, it's just perfectly crafted for this type of level. But yeah, I'm not going to go through the solution in detail. Those who probably played this level probably know what's going on already. This is something similar, something similar that you've seen in Stormy 10, Port of Jigsaw made this. We use the stacker trick halfway up the wall, catch the lemmings. Now we're using this section. So every part, every section of the level gets used pretty much. I think the only thing that doesn't get used is this little seesaw down here. I think that's just a bit of a red herring of my solution. And just to let you know, Sonic does not actually turn the lemmings around. He's a background. He's a background object. So a lot of this is just uh, turning around, uh, just uh, making all these platforms and turning turning the lemmings around using using advanced techniques for that. This was kind of made as this was kind of made as a little escape route for the uh, little escape route, and that fencer is there because if these lemmings climb up this stack here, they're going to they're actually going. To, I think they I think they just missed this fencer tunnel here. So yeah, my solution might not make a lot of sense to some people, but I've seen other solutions to this level, so it's not it's not purely confined to this to this. Yeah, and you bash through that. Every skill gets used in my solution. You don't have to save everybody on this level either, which is a benefit. So yeah, if you liked that level and you nominated it, thank you very much. Because <laughs> I didn't nominate it, so someone obviously liked the level. Okay, next level. The last level ever in the LP. So we finish off with the Mobius Space Race. Uh, right, I'm going to show off my solution to this level. And for those who are not familiar with this level, this was entered to a contest after Seblem's release. And uh, it was basically for tile set mixing. Now, I do realise this wasn't a very good job at tile set mixing because I kept the tile sets pretty separate separate separated 
The level still came across well though, a lot of people weren't a fan of the time limit, but it was still a pretty good level where you had lots of skills, you know, and you could do, well, it's not lots to some people, but in Artie's world that's practically infinite bashes, for example. So practically infinite everything except for blockers and bombers. And I made it so all the bombers could actually be used as well, so I wasn't being that mean. Okay, I think I have to look for the solution for this one. Um, also, name. There we go, we've got one here. So, yeah, and he uses this nice music from Sonic Unleashed as well that everyone enjoys. So, a lot of people were overlooking this. Uh, this little wall here. This uh, striped wall. I even made it striped for the reason, you know. Hey, notice me. <laughs> I didn't make it specifically for that reason. No. So doing this first part of the scrap brain section is quite complicated, but I, I'm probably I probably really overcomplicated it actually. Now the way the lemming's going to get up now is they're just going to do a zigzag blocker. And I even put a one-way wall there so you can just contain the lemming tier if you want to. Now, some people weren't doing the level the intended way. and were actually just sending the lemming, the whole crowd of lemmings through the trap because they were able to. That was one horrible back route that Mobius found, for example. There's actually nothing I could actually stop do to stop him from doing that either. The only thing I can do to stop him from doing that is raise the save requirements. Like that kind of screws up a lot of other people's solutions, though. So I've just let it stand. The original idea behind this level is he's this dark section here. Uh, just to update you on the starlight section, it's not as complicated as the. Scrap brain section, it's actually very easy to get through to the block section here. But this the key to this section is preserving your skills and going up. I think you need a hell of a lot of builders for the scrap brain section. Have I used a single stacker yet? I don't think I have yet. Yeah, and I had to put steel under the buzz saws as well because some people were just doing the obvious. Oh, I'll we'll go under the buzz saws. Artie! So, yeah. The way I do this bit is I do a basher and a minor. And that, that digger is there just to widen the hole a bit. Yeah, you know, you've got lots of diggers available, just make use of them and just make makes the job a lot easier. And they'll just keep going to the what they'll just keep going to the one way wall. Starlight section's pretty much complete now. Um the time note's creeping up a bit, so now's probably a good time to start freeing the lemon, but we're still not quite done to scrap print or survival. Doesn't matter if it's to the water left, they'll go towards this block here around anyway. I actually need some fixing in the new format because the climbers should not be climbing up there and bumping their heads. I might start the ceiling there. I don't want to break people's solutions at the same time. There you go. And these guys didn't even use a block in here, they actually used one of the stackers. <laughs> So yeah, notice the gap in the sapper trap there. If you didn't already notice it, it's not a very, it's quite a large gap as well, so it's not just a minuscule gap. There you go, there's the uh, Mobius Space Race. You didn't even need all the builders to do it either. You need still have to set, I still, I only use set that way provided. So I used quite a lot of the skills overall, as you can see. I don't know what was going on, Dan. This was, this was one crazy. I think we had to try and free a blocker here because uh, we were one short of the save requirements. Let's go back a minute. 
it happened quite recently. Just watch that again. Yeah, we originally sent a climber up here to climb bomb. And that's why that's how we could do the reverse minor. So we just we just dig, dug and bash the block about, use the stackers to turn them around, but obviously when the climbs come around again it complicates things, so I have to use multiple stackers on them as well. Just to make it just to seal it up a bit. But there you go, that's the Mobius Space Race anyway. Hope you enjoyed this LP overall. And see, only 20 seconds left, so it's quite a tight level. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this LP overall. I'm sorry for all those levels that I can solve. I don't think I think overall I actually solved a lot more than I didn't solve. So I'll have to count it up for me because I can't be bothered. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the LP and. Happy voting, everybody.